Stangibilisco here. A lot of you electricity and magnetism enthusiasts and electronics hobbyists have heard the term reluctance and wondered what it meant. Um, I, I know that I was confused about it until just recently. Um, I heard the term, but I didn't know exactly what it meant. Well, here's a very quick analogy. Reluctance is magnetic resistance. In other words, reluctance is to magnetism as resistance is to electricity. So when you talk about a conductor, an electrical conductor having high resistance, it means it offers a lot of opposition to electric current. When you talk about a magnetic substance having a high reluctance, it means it offers a lot of opposition to magnetic flux. Contrary-wise, when an electrical conductor has low resistance, it offers very little opposition to electric current and when a magnetic material has low reluctance it offers very little opposition to magnetic lines of flux. Examples of substances with high reluctance include glass, plastic, wood, air, and a vacuum. Examples of materials with low magnetic reluctance include powdered iron, ferrite, solid iron, uh, any ferromagnetic material in general, and the stuff that makes up transformer cores. So, reluctance is to magnetism as resistance is to electricity. It's a concept. Uh, it's, it can be measured quantitatively, but the general idea is what I just said. Reluctance is like magnetic resistance. Stangibilisco signing off. Until next time, so long.